YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy Concise the Barber. And this is a video with the combo set from Caliber with the Focus Clipper and the Laser Plus Trimmer. First things first, always comb your client's hair in the direction the way that it grows. And now I am going to be using the Laser Plus Trimmers and we're gonna start out with the bald line. As you guys see, I did the trimmer upside down instead of the other way because I don't want a harsh bottom line. So if you guys wanna stay away from harsh bottom lines, this is definitely one of the ways that can help you. And I will just be showcasing just one side. I'm not gonna show the whole side of the head and I'm gonna just basically show you my steps on how I executed this. This roughly took me about just 30 minutes. Um, wasn't, you know, a hard, you know, kind of cut to do. But once you get your foundation down, you can literally take your time and still be done with it cuts either at 30 minutes or even under that um, but having a foundation is very very important all right so right now i'm going to use my andis research shavers these are one of my favorite shavers to use i do like how well um they balled out and they're really nice and smooth and they don't irritate any of my clients so definitely one and I think it's a good price. It's not that much. You can probably find it for around like $100, but it's not a bad shaver. I definitely highly suggest um, if you're looking for a shaver to look this one up. I'll leave it in the description below. Now I'm gonna use my clipper and we're going to start off with the blade open and execute from there. I did a, I say the width was around about half, about an inch, close to an inch. Um, so I like doing this part first anytime that I fade because it helps me control the gradients of the fade better. That when I get the bottom line out with just the blade open and then from there I fade down. I feel like I have more control over the gradients, how the fade looks doing it that way. But now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my highest guard. I do believe I use a one and a half. No, now I'm using a one guard from Caliber and I'm gonna blend in with the top with this. This is just my fading down technique. I think everybody should try to learn that technique um, just to see if it's for you. If it's not, then um, there's nothing wrong with that. But whatever foundation or technique that you have, just master it with every hair texture. Now I'm going with the grain and I do that with the, you know, if my client has coarse hair and they have their sides completely gone, but they still want to blend up top, sometimes going down with the grain helps blend in, you know, to the sides. Because curly hair, of course, likes to curl in any way that it wants to, so you, sometimes you might need to lay those down. But what I do is basically blade, I mean, lever all the way open, two clicks, which is halfway, and then two clicks close. I only use a three click, like, uh, system. I don't use all the five clicks. Um, I might, going to the two and the four click every now and then, but it's very rare. Now I'm going to have the zero guard and basically just go right under the one guard completely closed. Same steps, same process, blade all the way open, halfway and close. And most of the times with this guard, it's almost like the end you know, I complete with this guard a lot, a lot of times. Um, if I have anything, you know, one guard and up that might need some detailing, I'll use this guard. So I do like doing detailing and like finishing up with this guard. Every now and then it might be random that I might have to use the blade open, but it all depends on how your blade setup is. I might have these completely zero gap or it could be not completely zero gap and you just got to adjust and do what you feel like you need to do to get the blend, you know, in the right 
the right way. Now I'm going to use the blade open, get, you know, that faint line from the, the zero guard to the blade all the way open. Now I'm just going to go past that line just a little bit with the blade open, just so y'all can see how I executed, clearing everything up. Like I said, with the zero guard, I do like detailing, but anything under the zero guard, I'll detail with the blade open. Or if I need to adjust the lever, you might need to every now and then, but I don't, it's rare for me to go completely closed when I'm doing a cleanup work. So most of the times my cleanup works just consist of the blade all the way completely open to the blade being halfway open. Now what I'm gonna do is pick the hair out just to make sure that the transition right here is smooth. If not, I am gonna grab either my one and a half or one guard to make sure that this area does lay down well. So yes, I grabbed the one guard. We're gonna lay this hair down. The Prida Ridge, just making sure that the hair on top blends in with the fade on, on the sides. Now I'm gonna use the focus clipper to shape. Um, and I was in testing phase when I was using this. I was just seeing all the things that it was able to do. So I was glad that I had a client that I was able to shape any kind of hair just to see how well it does it. And so far it doesn't, you know, do a bad job at all. There's not like an overly crunch sound when you're using it, like how you have on the Andis Masters or the Saber 2s but it does do the job. Now I'm just showing you guys how well I did shape it. It looks nice, nice blend. And um, she likes to keep that area in the front. Um, definitely a dope, unique style. So we just gonna go with it and uh, make sure that everything looks nice and smooth. Now I'm just gonna brush it down and really see if there's anything else I need to touch up. If so, I'll probably grab my clipper or trimmer depending on if I see it at the bottom or in the middle of the fade. And as of as right now, it is with the trimmer. So I'm just using my corners and cleaning up some, some work. Now with the front line, she doesn't really get strong vertical bars or C-cups. So everything we're gonna do here is kind of soft. Now, with my haircut services, I do like applying a hot towel. So this is something that I do for everyone. Now I applied this towel the wrong way. Just being honest with y'all, I didn't layer back all the way. Make sure that you're doing everything the correct way. So when they experience it, there ain't no flops like that. And now after the hot towel, I like to pick it back out and make sure everything looks nice and clean. And I'm going to also spray uh, a little mixture of some of a concoction, like an aftershave and stuff like that. That smells really, really good. All my clients love it. So you're probably going to see her face after I'm done spraying. She's going to be like, what is that? And why does it smell amazing? See so you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Every time. So that is the haircut, y'all. Let me know what y'all think of that. Like I said, Caliber, they just came back out with this product. Not mad at it at all. It does do some work. So that is how everything looks. So I appreciate y'all for watching. Make sure you guys subscribe. And I'll see y'all in the next video.